Something a uh, little bit different today. Um, a former student of mine uh, reached out for help um, with an antenna problem and basically um, is being asked by uh, a city centre to monitor foot traffic over certain junctions inside the city centre. Basically, because uh, things have dropped off now, like retail and and that sort of thing in towns and city centres. They're looking at possibly uh, changing um, the layout of the, the city centre and pedestrianising uh, a lot of places and uh, blocking off roads, etc. Um, but before they do that, they, they need some data to work off. And uh, he's come up with uh, a system where it can remote monitor in certain places foot traffic and basically this thing has uh, three beams going out and uh, the, the middle beam uh, is there as uh, the counter if you will but the two beams either side uh, they measure which way the foot traffic is coming from from so you know if we're getting a lot more traffic coming this way than this way uh, that's data we can work with for instance uh, that's simplified um, way of looking at it it does a few other things as well but he uh, needs an antenna to uh, collect all this data from these uh, certain places where he's putting these boxes obviously he can't uh, go around and plug in every day and download the data originally he was thinking of wi-fi but wi-fi is it can be interrupted it's unreliable and then he thought about uh, you know using the uh, 4g 3g that's in the city center where you know you get a really good signal in a city center anyway um, but these boxes that contain the equipment are metal quite thick metal as well they're, they're made to look uh, almost invisible uh, innocuous you know and uh, nothing that somebody's going to want to rip off the wall because i think uh, it's a parking meter for instance but um the problem is the antenna you can't have the antenna inside of the metal box and having something like a uh, typical antenna like a monopole something like that sticking out of the top you you're just inviting people especially on a saturday night uh, to come by and rip that off i mean it's just like candy to a kid it'll just you know in a city center it, it wouldn't be there very long so he asked me if I had any ideas and I found these on eBay. Uh, it's apparently a uh, 2G, 3G, 4G uh, little antenna. They claim uh, up to 5 dB of gain with this, but it's probably more like 2.5 to 3, which, as I say, doesn't matter because this is in the middle of a city centre and I've had a quick check and... Uh, basically all the areas is wanting to put these in have a really really good signal uh, it's kind of a, a puck uh, shape to it so it's going to sit nice and flush uh, on the metal box it's not going to stick out and uh, draw anybody's attention to it but I thought it'd be interesting to uh, take a look at this there's some modifications I'm gonna have to do for him um, basically this coax is rubbish and he doesn't need this kind of length anyway he only wants a maximum of uh, 150 millimeters uh, so i'm hoping uh, i can get into this without destroying it too much because it needs to be waterproof and uh, replace this coax with a, a decent sma connector um you know with some decent coax as well uh, if i can't then i'll just be cutting this down and putting a, a decent sma on this but uh, yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at this, uh, have a look at it on the network analyzer and see how it uh, really is constructed. But uh, little projects like this, remote projects, are becoming more and more popular now, using Raspberry Pis and things like that to build them pretty cheaply. And because uh, the coverage of uh, the cellular networks, um, getting a SIM card nowadays is so, so cheap. Uh, you can set these up and uh, be at the other side of the world really and uh, monitor the data that flows in from them so you know a lot of these little projects like this uh, are really popular now especially you know if somebody wants uh, data on foot traffic I mean uh, these little boxes are going to stay in place for a year and have a year's worth of data and you can uh, you know uh, then better make your decisions of what you're going to do uh, to your city centre or your large town for instance but yeah should be a good one so uh, let's uh, take a look at this so here it is uh, with the test set up now let's take a look 
at the network analyzer. So looking at the network analyzer then, we're scanning from uh, 600 megahertz over here all the way up to three gigahertz over here. And we can see we've got the best dip uh, in this region here, which is uh, around 1.8, 1 1.7, 1 1.8 gigahertz up to two. 2.1 gigahertz there so yeah it's really nice in the middle there and uh, that's going to uh, have a really good signal remember that it's in a city there's uh, plenty of decent signals in the city center and uh, we've got this little dip here around the 700 to uh, 900 megahertz region so yeah it's responsive in the areas we need it to be uh, as i said it's only going to be about 2.5 db of gain maybe 3 dB of gain, it's not going to break any records but uh, now let's take a look at the inside and see what kind of uh, element we've got in there and uh, build quality now I had to apply a little bit of force to get into this you can see where I've cut into it I don't really want to do that with the future ones but uh, now that I can see how it's constructed we've got a little lip in there and it's glued in place I think with a little bit of heat I should be able to uh, persuade this to come out and uh, I'd really like to do that so I can replace the coax on this uh, although it's going to be pretty short so possibly cutting it shorter and putting an SMA connector on there would be fine but uh, you know I'd just like to replace this if I can you don't even know if it's 50 ohms but uh, looking at the element now it's uh, pretty interesting I haven't seen anything like this before uh, we've got a circular element here, it's not quite a circle, it's broken here. And we've got a middle piece in the middle. Now, I want to get rid of this hot glue because I'm not sure which is the driven element and uh, which is the ground, if anything, whether this is a parasitic element. But let me get rid of this uh, hot glue with a bit of heat and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see it a little bit more clearly. So now we've got rid of the hot glue, it's uh, interesting, we've got the uh, outside here, that's the active main driven element part of this antenna, and we've got this little circle in the middle, which is uh, ground. The uh, driven element is soldered onto this tab here, but uh, I think this tab has got a dual purpose, it's probably keeping uh, the outside at 50 ohms, not just a, a solder tab for the coax I'll uh, I'll make a PDF of this it's an interesting uh, design and uh, one that I may use in the future but uh, it does beg the interesting question now I want to make um, a few of these well I want to uh, modify a few of these as I said for uh, my uh, ex-student who wants to use these in a project and yes I could uh, probably uh, etch these out on some uh, you know, probably a little bit better quality uh, PCB material. But um, just factoring the case itself, you know, for £4.50, and he's going to give me a discount if I order a few of these, you couldn't buy the case on its own, especially with this brass uh, threaded piece in the middle there. You, you do have to wonder how these people make money. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not worth me making these by myself by the time I find a case to make. Uh, to uh, cover it all and make it waterproof um, yeah, you're not going to be able to make it for that kind of money so buying them is the only option but it's an interesting design nonetheless it's not circular polarized you know uh, just because it is shaped as a circle that doesn't make things circular polarized that's to do with uh, two feeds at 90 degree angles to each other um, so yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, and probably I'm spot on around uh, 2.5 to 3 dB of gain. I can't see this being uh, 5 dB of gain as it stands now, but uh, as I say, in the cityscape, there's going to be plenty of signal for it to pick up. It'll uh, work just fine. So I hope you found this uh, quick little uh, teardown interesting. As I say, it's a very nice form factor and uh, works well on the uh, frequencies that it claims to if you want a, a remote project you know and you don't want to, some big uh, conspicuous antenna sticking out of a box at the side of the road uh, especially here in the UK you'll probably end up getting on a some kind of uh, conspiracy Facebook group if you do but uh, yeah it's uh, it is nice I mean uh, even you know a, a remote weather station 
um, a lot of people set those up now and you can set them up in different places and you know uh, data is so cheap over the cellular networks now um, a nice way of monitoring it remotely so as I said um, I'll uh, make a PDF it will be available for download in the description if you want to play around with this design very very interesting um, yeah and uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them and Hopefully, you'll join me on the next one.